YouTube. What is good? We're back in this thing. Today, we're gonna be going over the titles that Cole Bennett did for the Kanye Crazy music video. Pretty simple. Just wanna show you guys how to sauce up some titles. I've been seeing you guys lacking with some titles. Using the Ecto. Can't have Ecto in 2021. I'm saying you see it in a video, you're calling it out. You got to. No more Ecto. Anyways, um, yeah, just been seeing people slack with titles. There's some really simple things you can do to titles just to make them look better and uh, just up your title game. If you're new here, what I do is a lot of tutorials. I'm gonna start doing some vlogs behind the scenes, lifestyle stuff. I'm actually moving out to LA at the end of this month. So definitely follow me on Instagram, follow, join the Discord. I'm gonna be chatting with you guys. Uh, Instagram, I'm gonna be sharing the whole journey and then I'm gonna be doing some vlogs on YouTube. So if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and do so. And if you haven't already, like and comment. It really does help push my content to other people that wanna see this type of video. Uh, my goal is to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. At this rate we're going, we're definitely gonna hit it. So if we just keep the momentum going and you guys keep on smashing the like button, commenting, let's get 500 likes. 100 comments and we'll be there in no time if you want to support the channel even more you can go over to brindelmata.com check out my texture pack it helps you get that aug lone wolf style paper rip effects and transitions everyone that's downloaded so far and shared their work has been really cool so if you go ahead and do that definitely be sure to share your work with me i'll have a link to the website as well as a tutorial playlist we're getting close to 20 tutorials on the paper rip effects themselves so there's no shortage of effects that you can do with the paper pack so if you're interested go cop it you'll get you'll support the channel as well as get yourself some really cool digital assets yeah that's pretty much all i got for you guys right now let's get into the video break down the Kanye crazy titles get you guys the sauce so this is kind of what I came up with it's a little bit different than what Cole has but I kind of wanted to sauce it up make it my own add some grain just make it look cool so I think that's pretty similar I added a little bit of 3d just to have like the difference in depth and stuff I'll show you guys all how to do this and uh, I'll show you a way to do it with plugins which I think is a lot easier it saves you a lot of time that's why I like plugins for like the simple stuff that you can't really tell the difference and then i'll show you how to do it manually if you need both pretty simple and uh this one's gonna be pretty quick so the first thing i'm gonna do is just create a new composition make it whatever you want to do i'm gonna do 1920 1080 23.976 frames per second click ok and then the first thing i'm gonna do is just go to the text tool up here type in kanye crazy maybe make that like 150 and then i'm just gonna turn on the grid not that grid actually the proportional grid I like that one more and then he didn't really have it center so i'm just gonna do something like that maybe line it up with the grid that looks cool um and the font i'm gonna be using and i think he used honestly i just like Arial. it's a good font i'm pretty sure he used it or he used some kind of really similar serif font so uh yeah i'm gonna use Arial bold 150 size uh, i just brought the text a little closer to each other because i feel like that looks cool made it a little taller just to fill up a whole cube and uh yeah you just play it around with it make it your own make whatever you want then i'm gonna go ahead and control d that layer drag it down here and then type in directed by bye Brian, or pretend like I directed Kanye Crazy, Brian Delamata. And then I'm gonna make it not bold. I'm actually just gonna make it regular and then maybe do something like 50, even more smaller, 25. I'm gonna drag it maybe something like down here. I'm just gonna try to kind of replicate the style and position of Coles. Obviously when you're doing yours, don't just copy the exact format. I just wanna make it close so you guys can see the comparisons and then you can, you can move it over here. You can, you know, move it wherever you want. Make it look cool. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I actually think I'm gonna make it into 20. Just make it a little bit smaller, find that. I'm actually gonna duplicate that layer, drag it up here, and then he has it say, I'm just gonna copy the exact words so we can just fit in stuff. He says, aka Dirkio, aka Smirkio. And he has that. And then I'm gonna make this one like even smaller, maybe something like 15. And then I think it's cool to like play with the, the different uh, stretches and just stuff when you're uh, doing this. I think it just adds a little bit of depth. I think Cole does it as well. Honestly, it kind of looks like it. I'm gonna make this one bold because it's smaller. I'm gonna go back to Brian, directed by Brian Delmonte and actually make it not bold here, but it was the regular font. This one's bold and the bold uh, Fox bold. And then I'm gonna leave this one bold, but regular font. Then go ahead and duplicate the Kanye crazy because I want it to be like the same characteristics. Duplicate the Kanye crazy because I want it to be the same characteristics. Uh, and then I'm just gonna make it a lot smaller, maybe 75, uh, maybe even smaller, 50. Just play around with it, whatever you think looks good. Love it right there. And then we can do, you know, we can copy and paste this one because it's the sim most similar. And then do lyrical lemonade presents. And then he has this like dash, dash thing. I think it looks pretty cool. And then I'm gonna make this one a bold as well. And maybe just drag it in a bit. And we can go ahead and turn off the grids and just play around with the positioning of everything. I think that looks pretty cool. I like that, how that looks. And uh, honestly, just doing stuff like this, like making the, just making the, the title a little bit different sizes and like different positions, it really does help make your titles look a lot cooler. And this would honestly pass as a title. If you added some motion or something to it, we're gonna add some grain, some glow, a little bit of blur, and just stuff to make it look more like this one. To do that, the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is just add some grain. So if you type in add grain, it's a default plugin, or it's a default effect in After Effects. I really like this one, and I'm gonna use the Kodak Vision 
1800 and then turn preview to final output so you can see what it's affecting and this one's on the lyrical lemonade it's kind of hard to see because it's such a small font maybe i should have done it I'm actually just gonna go to color monochromatic and then actually just copy and paste it to kanye crazy style it there and then copy and paste it over that way it's a little easier to see. I was thinking the size, like something like 0.5, make it a little smaller, maybe the intensity a little bit up, like 1.5, see what that looks like. And then I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste that to all the layers. One. The next thing I'm gonna do is add some glow. You can add any kind of glow you want. I'm gonna add sapphire glow. You can add VR glow if you want. Uh, that's the default one built into After Effects. I like sapphire for what we're doing. I think it looks cool. So if you have it. So yeah, I'm gonna add sapphire glow onto Kanye Crazy first, just so we can see what that hap what happens. And then 36, way too crazy. I think I'm gonna do something like three. And then you can see the edges are a little bit better just a little bit of blur maybe even five on this one and then i'm gonna bump up the brightness to like five as well maybe i lied i'm gonna bump up the brightness to like 2.5 that's way too much and i'm gonna copy and paste that glow for the kanye crazy and the little dirk the bigger bold ones and then i'm gonna go ahead and go to like the directed bio one copy and paste it but then i'm gonna go ahead and change the blur glow from like five to like two and maybe the brightness to like 1.5 from 2.5 you got to change it based on the size otherwise it's going to look weird so then i'm going to go ahead and copy and paste that one the other small fonts and then i even noticed the little dirk looks a little bit weird to me i'm going to make the glow width from five to like three that way that looks a little bit better now i got a little bit of glow a little bit of grain i'm actually going to go ahead and i forgot to do this but add the grain underneath the glow that way it actually shows up otherwise it kind of just defeats the whole purpose of grain so make sure to do that and uh stuff should look a lot better now it has that cool grain look and then if you're doing presets and you have universe use heat wave and then drag that on to kanye crazy i'm gonna see what this looks like and uh, i know that the default heat wave is way too fast so i don't even have to render it i'm gonna bring it from flow speed from 50 to like one and then the heat intensity i'm gonna drag that all the way down because that's the wave shit. I just want the blur. And then go from blur quality to fast. You can change it to whatever you want. Uh, for the sake of tutorial, I'm gonna do fast, just so my computer's fast, and it can render it out way faster. But I think that if you wanna render out the titles and you have a good computer, accurate is real cool. Then you can go ahead and change the blur size. I'm gonna make it from 95. You can change the blur size, whatever you want. I'm gonna render this out and just see what this looks like. And then I just changed the flow speed to 10 to make it look a little bit faster. And I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste that onto all of these here. Then go on and use Sapphire Flicker just to add a little bit of flicker to it. If you don't have flicker, you can go ahead and use just keyframe the brightness or the opacity of the font. Just like go from like 100 to like 50 to like 70. Like just like make it random and just make it flicker. You can, you can figure out what looks good. I, I bet you guys can figure it out. If not, I do have a tutorial on that on the other Cole Bennett titles. I'll have the card pop up or uh, it'll be linked in the description or it's just on my YouTube if I forget to do that and I don't see it in this part of the video. Now I just rendered at quarter quality just to see the flicker, just to see if we like how fast everything's flickering. And I think it's cool. I think I want to change the random frequency from like 30 to maybe like 20 and then the amplitude to like 0.15 instead of two. And I'm going to do that for the Kanye crazy and a little dirt. And then for the directed by ones, I'm actually going to make the amplitude 0.1 a little bit less and then maybe like 25 for the flicker on those. And then I'm copy paste the on the small ones. And if you didn't have heat wave, this is what I'm talking about. You can use Gaussian blur and keyframe it. I'm actually going to use both because I think it would look cool. Uh, just like added like extra blur in some spots. So the heat wave is pretty optional. I mean, all these things, all these effects are optional. I think they all just look good. So just do whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead and go to effects, Gaussian blur. I turned on the repeat edge pixels and then I'm going to go ahead and keyframe blurriness. Go one frame ahead, turn it to like 15. See what that looks like. That might be way too much. That looks fine actually. Go a frame forward, make it seven. Go two frames forward, make it 12. Go one frame forward, three, two frames forward, make it zero, one frame forward, make it. And you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm just going and kind of just doing random inputs. And then once you get to a certain point and you think you have it random enough, you can just go ahead and copy and paste it actually. Repeat it and we'll see what that looks like. It might not be random enough or it might be good. You can always go ahead and tweak it. And then that's the same thing. If you don't have Flickr, you can do basically the exact same thing with the opacity or with the uh, brightness and contrast. And then watching that back, I don't think I want enough randomness. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and uh, redo part of it. This is what you can do to just make sure that you uh, get what you like. That's why sometimes I do like doing it manually because then you can really uh, tweak it to however you like. And then again, just going through and keyframing randomly. And then you can see here once I actually went ahead and keyframed. It looks pretty good. I think it's a little bit aggressive. I would probably change a little bit if it wasn't just for the tutorial. But I think it looks good. And then you can go ahead and do this, but on a, like a more minor scale for all the other. For the sake of the tutorial, 
and time i'm just not going to go ahead and do that i think it looks fine for what it is and then uh if you want to add a little extra sauce to it you can make all these layers 3d go to the top view and then select your layer i think i'm gonna have kanye crazy in the middle and then just drag the z just back just a little bit and for each of these layers and then maybe drag forward for one and just give it a little bit of depth i think it's cool you don't have to do anything too crazy so this perspective doesn't get all weird but like it's just something that like tricks your eye a little bit and gives it a little bit of the extra just look and then one last thing i like to do is add some grain so you can just go to new solid I just make it completely black, drag it here. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and add some grain on the black solid here. Turn off the preview to final output. See what that looks like. We can judge what we like. I'm gonna bring down the size to like 0.75, maybe even something like 0.5, just make it a lot smaller. Go ahead and change the preset to the 800T. I like that grain. And then make sure the color is monochromatic. You don't have to, but that's what I wanna do. So that, and then it just has a little bit of that, um, grain in the background you could even do something like you did with the text and have like the background glow back and forth gaussian blur black back and forth so it goes in and out of focus with this i think it just sells that 3d effect even though it's 2d and just has it kind of look a little bit cooler and then once you're done with that you can go ahead and actually pre-compose this layer and just name it like text before for zoom and then you can go ahead and just make sure that this is motion blur and then go ahead and keyframe the scale and then go to the end and just zoom in however much you want doesn't have to be too crazy but uh whatever you want looks good and then go ahead and render that out and then once you finally go ahead and render that you can see that you got the pretty much the effect done in the music video i think ours is pretty cool because it has that uh the heat wave i don't think cole did that as well as the grain in the background and then i don't i couldn't really tell but i didn't think he did the 3d thing that i did i just thought it was cool so there's definitely a lot of cool stuff there i think i went a little too aggressive on the gaussian blur either way looks cool to me and uh i just wanted to show you guys how to make some titles uh pretty quickly and uh just sauce up your title game a little bit if you guys made it all the way to the end i really do appreciate you thank you very much if you haven't already like comment and subscribe we're growing so fast and i appreciate every one of you guys there's gonna be some crazy la vlogs soon of the team house of split mind definitely gonna be showing some of the artist development just a bunch of stuff on the industry side that uh i know a lot of you guys probably are interested in because I was interested in as well. So it's going to be a really cool experience. I'm going to take you guys along with that. So hope you guys are down for that type of content. Definitely let me know in the comments if you are. Let's hit those 500 likes and 100 comments. You guys have been killing it. So thank you very much. If you want to support the channel even more, you can go over to brianelmada.com. Check out my text pack. Link will be in the description as well as a playlist on all the tutorials. Follow me on Instagram. Join my Discord. Follow me on Twitch. A bunch of the social media stuff. I'm really trying to stay active on all the platforms as much as I can and interact with you guys and kind of just showcase my journey here. So if you're interested in any of that, definitely go do it. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I got for you guys in the video. Peace.